Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a, a good win for our guys. You know, it's a tough place to play. And, um, I thought our guys battled very really hard. It's a good college hockey game. Guys, the theme of the last month or so is after a great win against Yale, you had a few hard-fought losses and ties against some pretty good teams. What was the difference tonight, and how have you managed to kind of keep your spirits up in a bit of a tough stretch? Uh, I think we've been playing well. I mean, ever since we got those first two wins against Harvard, you know, we've had close games. The last two games have been ties. We've been getting there. We've been working on in practice. We've still been having fun in practice, trying to stay somewhat positive despite the record. Knew as long as we kept playing for three full periods, that we were eventually going to win. We played good enough to win after two periods and started to just put it all together. Nick, can you capture what it's like to get your first collegiate goal as a senior? You don't hear that too often. I know you haven't played a whole ton of games in your career, so what did it mean to you tonight to, to get a game winner in a, in a game like this in the road? Uh, that was fun, and it was easy, actually. It was a pretty easy goal. Um, glad I didn't miss it wide open net, but it was, it was pretty cool, especially uh, I think uh, Kyle, my cousin, had the first assist on the goal, so that was, that was special. Eric, can you talk about, you guys were off the opportunity to play, you took advantage of two of their mistakes, you talk about that and running short in the clock, and turning around and turning around. Yeah, I mean, that's what killed us early in the season, was mistakes and other teams down the line, so we know in order for us to win, that's what we need to do, is we're focusing on getting the puck and moving it up by the what I tried to do on the short game goal, I thought the best of the ball and went in. I actually didn't know it went in when I turned around. I tried to look to the ref to see if I was going to get at least a penalty on it. That was going to stay in the hands of us. Pretty happy. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Coach, can you just talk about Nick? I don't really know Nick's backstory here of why he hasn't played so much over the years and, and from the number of games and, and uh, what you've seen from him this year. Yeah, Nick's been a, a defenseman um, mm -hmm. coming in. And, uh, you know, he's turned into a really, really solid uh, uh, guy in all positions, and now he's playing up front for us and uh, doing a really good job. But he, he went back and played uh, defense for us on Emily Kill, did a nice job there. Uh, what he's brought is a, is a level of um, maturity and leadership. He seems to say the right things on the bench, um, do the right things on the ice, and keep the game very simple. And, you know, just going to the net hard on that goal was, uh, was, a, was a huge play for us. So, you know, Nick's a good guy. He's worked really, really hard. He's had some had some injury problems um, earlier in his career, and, and uh, you know, that hampered him a bit. And, uh, uh, but a good guy that's working really hard. I'm proud of him. Trying to keep up with his brother. <laughs> Coach, can you talk about playing uh, five straight hockey teams and just getting a bit more? Yeah, it's a huge one for us because we, you know, we've worked. Uh, Eric was saying we've worked really, really hard, and uh, you know, and, and uh, the results haven't haven't been there on a consistent basis. But we know that we're playing good hockey, and we're playing good hockey teams, um, and we're right there. And, you know, we've been bitten with some, you know, pretty serious injuries on this club. And I like the fact that the guys come into the lineup and are playing with some confidence and we're trying to um, have guys seamlessly come into the lineup. You know, a guy like Nick, who's been a defenseman, come in and play forward for us. It's huge for us. But he understands the game and knows where to be and knows what to do. And I think that's across the board. But we know we're playing tough teams with tough endings. So we get a, get a win, to get something for our efforts. It's great. Um, but, you know, we go through a stretch where we work really, really hard, and, and the W wasn't there. And, um, but we know if we don't work hard, there's no chance. So that's the same thing team in the country. So it's, uh, you know, it's fun to play hockey teams. They're, you know, it's a, uh, they're good rivals, they're, uh, good coaches, and nice facilities. Uh, you know, it's been fun. And that tournament was fun to play in Providence about this year. So it's good. We have an H on Saturday in Manchester and uh, another really good hockey team that's up there. Coach, uh, a little on the, along the same lines, but a tie, you know, tie against the Eastern, a you know, close game against the Providence team, tie against the Vermont, and tonight with the win. How does kind of this non-conference set you know, propel you guys into the second half of the season? 
Well, I think we're getting some guys uh, into the lineup and getting experience, um, which is really good for our team. You know, and uh, gaining some confidence that we can play um, the right way, to play our, our, our type of game, our style of game that we can compete. And I think it really helps us play these these five games. And we go back into a really tough um, league schedule coming up with Colby and Cornell coming into our building and uh, some tough games game in game out. So I think this is a this is a huge thing for us to just play good hockey teams um, and uh, continue to battle and continue to learn. Any update on that Tyler uh, Sugara? Um, it's it's going to be probably um, you know I would imagine probably another month. Um, the good thing is it wasn't a season in the future. It looks you know potentially as it could be, um, but um, he's our captain and uh, you know, a very good player. And he has to have him back. It's not around the corner. Is that it?